you try to think of everything possible. Because you're thinking about what you're gonna say and you're also thinking about how she's gonna react. I mean, you're thinking about it all. It's right. all scary. One, the whole situation is, is scary enough. Right. Guys, it looks like Gabrielle Union is not that refined and sophisticated lady as we see her public and she's actually in her mean girl era all the rhyme. It's been speculated that Gabby's inner demons sometimes find the most horrifying exit and you would, you never believe who's spilling the beans on her borderline inappropriate behavior. This divorce trauma is just getting messy and I'm here to spill the tea. We've all heard the whispers about Gabrielle dishing out Dwayne's secrets like she's Oprah on a confession spree, alleged secret men, loving life, and more affairs than a soap opera plot twist. But if you think that Dwayne isn't clapping back, wait till you hear full-blown hurricane of accusations. So he is saying Gabrielle wasn't just mean. Oh no, she allegedly had a black belt in aggressiveness during their marriage, and Dwayne is not covering it for her anymore. You got a lot on your mind. You, you're keeping, you know, you're keeping something from people you love. Right. And it's heavy. But wait, there's more. Dwayne's revelations keep raising an eyebrow and hinting that Gabrielle might have been crossing some lines in her behavior. And this just explains why he was so willing to leave the household and sleep with other ladies. So Dwayne Wade's lifting the lid on Gabrielle's expose, calling her the villain of their love story. He's been living with this truth for years. And now he fills the air with accusations of Gabby's creepy and menacing behavior that actually pushed Wade into the tight embrace of his numerous lovers. Oh my God, you never spoke. <laughs> so here's how the story unfolded and reached its peak. We all heard that Gabrielle and Dwayne's marital bliss was as shaky as a Jenga tower in an earthquake. According to Gabrielle, the root of their problems was Dwayne's inability to keep his shtick in his designer pants. As she said in her book, his cheating was a painful experience for her. To say I was devastated is to pick a word on a low shelf for convenience. There are people, strangers who I will never meet, who have been upset that I have not previously talked about that trauma. I have not previously talked about that trauma. I have not had words and even after untold amounts of therapy, I am not sure I have them now. Cheating allegations were flying around like confetti and eventually Wade was in the position of a guilty one in this relationship. However, as he spills now, everything had a cause and his infidelity was the consequences of Gabby's demonic nature and acts. I tried to break up with her. Yeah. And Hey, you know, things has been bad lately. But you see, this union has been doomed since the start. Dwayne Wade's love affairs weren't limited to just dipping his manhood inside the ladies. In a shocking turn of event, he managed to make one of them pregnant. Now, this man chose not to shy away from his daddy's responsibilities, and he even wanted his son to be next to him. However, as it turned out, poor Xavier's presence was a major trigger for Gabby. And after several unpleasant episodes, the boy started to live his mom. As the former NBA star confessed, Xavier doesn't live with me, so we don't get to see each other every day like I do with my other kids. It makes things challenging at times, but it's my job to make sure he never has to carry that weight. Back then, we all wondered what kind of weight he was talking about. Apparently, after recent confessions, it's the weight of Gabby's heavy hand, which she refers to as her parenting style. I had to get to know Dwayne's parenting style and he had to get to know mine. Gabrielle, despite the bombshell news about the baby, was still determined to give Wade a chance for a marital bliss. Gabby and Wade started therapy and things seemed to be great for them for a while. But here's the thing, Gabrielle was not over that side pregnancy and the trauma she got changed her and not in a good way. She tried to deal with it, giving the public a front row seat in her memoir to say I was devastated is to pick a word on a low shelf for convenience. And then there were problems with them conceiving, which I guess didn't add much to Gabby's emotional roller coaster. She felt like her world was crumbling and she found nothing better than to unleash her anger in a very aggressive way. Our usual ways of, of dealing and coping in a healthy way mm -hmm. kind of went out the window. It looks like Gabby should have left Wade to avoid this drama. Her mental health was declining rapidly and considering that she wasn't the most stable and lovable person in the first place, you can imagine what she could do behind the scenes. As one person commented, I'm not surprised she looks mean. Even her style is mean. That woman is evil. I was shocked he even married her. And another user added, so now they destroyed the little boy. Well, if, let's pray for a son. Shameful on them. That boy life is messed up. And here's where Xavier enters the scene. This boy play a huge role in our story, guys. It turns out that Gabby was hating him even more than Wade just because he was born. Can you believe it? After the side pregnancy, she felt like Wade owed her too much and she was free to behave as she wanted. You are like painfully transparent. What oh, I painfully. <laughs> you all remember that Gabby went just a little but nuts with the way she navigated through her marriage with the NBA star. That crazy 50-50 role they have 
You'd probably think why a couple of millionaires is worrying about such stuff. Each of them has enough money to support the entire family alone. While the social media was discussing the crazy rule, Dwayne spilled some juicy details, revealing that it was actually Gabrielle who pushed for this equal financial division. And since he was afraid to traumatize her even more, he agreed to the crazy demand. It's been something that is going to continue to be something that I have to work at and work right. on. It doesn't right. go away because years come or because right. I say. Now, fans couldn't help but rally behind Gabrielle when they learned about this financial fairness. It seems like at some point of their tumultuous life, she decided to push some limits and see how far she can go with her demands. And what about airing all this crazy stuff in public? Wade was against it, but what could he do? Because every time he tried to reason with Gabby, she was getting more and more unhinged. Well, when it comes to my wife and I, yeah, that's that's hard. We got to always, it's always there. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget the weird statements Gabrielle threw around, making it sound like she didn't exactly put Dwayne on a pedestal. Like that time, she casually mentioned that the biggest difference between this marriage and the last one would be a completely divided household, splitting bills, and a prenup. And also, there's a speculation that her mental issues made sink into certain unhealthy habits. And while being under the substances, she used to organize wild shenanigans at their home. Remember when Jaguar Wright spilled that piping hot tea about the Wades hosting some wild pool parties? Ain't doing as much, I guess, now because they're getting older. I guess it just moved over to the Wade house. Spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front. Well, it seems like it was not Wade all the way, and all the crazy things the NBA star had been accused of in the past by many whistleblowers were actually Gabby's doing. Now, it raises a lot of questions about what else Wade had to tolerate in order to make Gabby happy and forget about the existence of poor Xavier. Initially, the NBA former player was decided against sharing the news of side pregnancy with Gabby, knowing how much it would hurt her. However, as time went by, he was eaten by guilt. As he said, hardest thing I've ever had to do is man up and tell Gabrielle Union that I've had a child with somebody else. I couldn't sleep. I wasn't eating. She also felt quite angry because she couldn't have a baby on her own. In he end, Union and Wade welcomed their miracle daughter by surrogate in 2018, but Union said it took her over a year to make peace with the fact she can't bear a child inside her. But more than anything, I wanted to be a mother. I wanted to experience every part of that journey. Mm -hmm. Even though the baby was supposed to act like a glue for this family, apparently Miracle Daughter didn't help Gabby to heal and the episodes of aggression kept repeating, all because of her trauma. Now, in the middle of a messy divorce rumors, never ending cheating, and other horrors behind the scenes of their marriage, the ex-couple doesn't hold back and they want to get public on their side. However, considering the crazy stuff we are hearing about the actress, I doubt there will be many people from Team Gabrielle. Time, distance, space, it doesn't help it. It allows you to see things differently when you have time away from But the drama doesn't stop there, and Dwayne's claims are backed by insiders who spilled the beans on Gabrielle's temper hotter than a summer day in the Sahara. Allegedly, she's known to get physical with Dwayne and his son during heated arguments, leaving no visible marks. It looks like he finally had enough of that mess, and fans couldn't be happier for him. As one person commented, I actually believe him that she's a B. She's an admitted mean girl. Good for him for getting out. And another user added, I knew she was mean from her first movie. She played it too well. She was replicating herself. The speculations don't stop. And it seems like Gabrielle's Dirty Linen is getting one good aeration with all these horrible allegations. Now, here's the real question. Do you think that Gabrielle Union is living with some inner demons inside her? And could she actually be that mean? Let me know what you're thinking. And in the meanwhile, don't forget to check my other videos.